hey guys welcome back to my channel but before anything i want to introduce myself to those who don't know me my name is nancy perez today we're going to be talking about obviously my surgery so yeah if you're interested in knowing how my surgery went and all of that keep on watching okay so where do i start well first of all i do want to say that i'm going to be speaking in spanglish just because you know that's just the way i talk Let's start uh with what i got i got a BBL, I got liposuction, and I got a tummy tuck. So, first of all, I do want to put it out there that this was my decision. It's not that I hated my body before. I wasn't fat. I wasn't skinny. Um, I used to weigh 115 pounds, but I did have like um that little gut that you can get rid of, and in that gut, on that gut, um. I had loose skin. That's just what happens when you have kids, you know? Um, and obviously the stretch marks. Like I said, not that I hated my body. I just wanted to perfect it. You know, if you got the money for it, if you're healthy enough, girl, go get your motherfucking surgery. At the end of the day, it is your body. And people are going to talk shit regardless. When I decided that I wanted to get surgery, first of all, I've been wanting surgery, but I was didn't know where to start you know i was following a lot of doctors on instagram um honestly i was scared but i wanted my ass bigger um and i never really had hips so i wanted like i, I used to have like that hip dip type of thing and i wanted that to be you know i wanted the glass hour shape i had a couple of doctors in mind already and it wasn't until i had um a client for those who don't know, I am a lash tech. I am an esthetician. So I had a client who came in and she told me she had gotten a BBL. And I asked her who her doctor was and she told me, she was like, oh, you're actually already following him. Um, it, this is his name. And then I looked him up and I was like, wow, like this is one of the doctors who was already on my top list. So I felt really confident already with this doctor. But let's rewind. Before that, I had already had two consultations prior to finding this doctor. Um, I had a consultation with Dr. Campos in Tijuana. Um, he's really known for doing Jenny 69's and her sister Annette's BBL. He had quoted me for BBL liposuction tummy tuck for 8,500. I never thought I was gonna get a tummy tuck. Um, and I asked him like, is there any way that you don't do the tummy tuck on me? Like, I honestly don't feel like I need one. I am really short. And like I mentioned, I'm only 115. I was only 115 pounds and I'm 411. So I'm like, I need a fucking tummy tuck. Like, what the fuck? So to be honest, I got kind of scared because like a BBL is one thing, but like a tummy tuck, that's like, that's, that's big for me, at least for me. That whole thought of like them cutting you open and then you know just so i thought about it a little bit more and that's when jenny 69 came out with the news that she got a bbl so i mess i then when she like recommended him i felt a little bit comfortable so i messaged him back and i was like okay i'm ready to send my deposit so he was like actually we're all booked until 2021 and now my prices went up a thousand dollars and i was like all right well just put me on the waiting list and they just never replied to me so i was like all right for me, com um, communication is really, really important. So if my doctor's not messaging me back and making me feel like he doesn't me need me, well, me technically he doesn't because he's fucking rich as fuck, you know, but that was already like a no for me. Um, and I just kind of didn't even try again, honestly, because I don't know. I felt weird after that. After you don't reply to me, it's like, all right, you must not want want to do my surgery then. And I was willing to, you know, wait till 2021 but anyways that was out the window and then i did a consultation with viva plastic surgery they also told me i would need a tummy tuck bbl and liposuction the only thing um i didn't like is that their tummy tucks well specifically with uh dr guadalajara because that's the one i did my consultation with i don't i didn't like that his tummy tucks go all the way it's like a 360 tummy tuck and for me it's like First of all, I don't even want a fucking tummy tuck. And now you want to cut me all the way to my back. like. So I was like, "Is if I get a tummy tuck, um, are you going to cut me all the way to the back? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. Um, they had quoted me for 7500 
and it wasn't honestly it's not a bad price i just it's i didn't want to get cut all the way to my back you know so i left it as that and that's when my client came in and she told me about this doctor and i was like dude i was looking at this doctor already like i just felt so happy because he was already on my top list and i saw her her body and her body is banging all right so i was like so when she told me like oh you're already following him i looked him up um his name is dr mario gonzalez i looked him up messaged him like hi i'm interested in setting up a consultation blah blah messaged me literally in like an hour and i was like damn because like with all the other ones like i had to wait like a few days you know for the reply so right away he told me to send his my pictures and i sent my pictures and he told me again i just said bbl and then he messaged me saying like you would need a tummy tuck bbl like section. And I was like, fuck it. Like, you know, if three doctors told me that I need a t uh, tummy tuck, then I must need it. Me hizo sentir muy, muy cómoda. Y con él no me la pensé tanto. En cuanto él me dijo todo lo que necesitaba y el precio, se me hace que tomé como unos dos días para pensarlo. Y con los otros doctores, lo estaba pensé y pensé y pensé. Like, I had to even, like, look for other doctors, you know, for, like, like, a uh, a backup y con el doctor Mario González no sentí esa necesidad de continuar to continue looking for another doctor yo dije ese es mi doctor y si tú no sientes eso cuando estás hablando con tu doctor you need to walk away okay ese no va a ser tu doctor si no sientes esa conexión you're talking to the wrong doctor then after that mandé mi depósito muchas niñas me están preguntando cómo yo mandé mi depósito Yo le mandé mi depósito al doctor Mario por una app que se llama Xoom. Se me hace que lo estoy pronunciando bien. Xoom es X-O-O-M, X-O-O-M. That's how I sent my deposit to Mexico. Um, I know, you know, a veces no, no confiamos porque obviamente estamos en otro país. I trust this app. I've done it twice already um, and it works. So... That's and it's really simple. All you have, all you need is the name of the account holder, or even just the card holder. So you can um, link it to your card or account, and you can link it to their account or their card. So it just depends where how they want. And it. that's how I send my deposit, guys. After that, me mandó las indicaciones de qué hacer y qué no hacer antes de la cirugía. Um, no me acuerdo muy bien cuáles todas las que todas las indicaciones. Una de ellas era como stop taking supplements, no drinking two weeks before the surgery. And I, honestly, I cannot remember what else. But that was some the of the best way to contact Dr. Mario is through WhatsApp. Um, I believe on the on his bio, I used the numero. Um, you do need the application WhatsApp and you can contact them through there. So that's that. Now, getting ready for my surgery. So one of the things you need before your surgery is a um cardiologist test and blood work that obviously i didn't want to do it over here because i was going to pay like hundreds and over there it's obviously cheaper alejandra me ayudó a actually ella is lo hizo por mí ella hizo mis citas para el cardiologist and for my blood work i didn't have to worry about anything okay she did it all and i'm so grateful for her because i did not know what the hell to do i didn't know where to go to get my blood work i didn't know where i had to go to get my heart on uh, my heart test and she did it all so if you don't want to do um your cardiologist exam here or blood work because you're gonna end up, end up paying like a lot of money just let her know that you would like to do it in mexico but you do have to go a day before or a few days before your surgery and then she'll take care of you after i booked my appointment i knew that i was gonna need lymphatic massages i actually the same girl who got her bbl with my um dr Mar she would always talk to me about her massage girl and her name's actually nancy as well so when i booked my appointment with dr mario i then contacted her and i told her hey like i'm gonna be going into surgery and I need a massage girl, but I want to book in advance. I think, honestly, I booked her like two months in advance. That's how important you should be on your massages. Um, because you honestly cannot 
I wanted you cannot be stressing after surgery trying to find who's gonna massage you who's gonna be doing your your drenajes no girl get that shit as soon as you book your appointment all right that is as important as your surgery so i contacted nancy she is the coolest person ever she helped me so much through this process guys i recommend her 10 out of 10 um i called her and she was actually telling me that she actually um sends girls to dr mario when she told me that i was like damn my doctor is like known and i didn't even know it but anyways she literally took once i called her she basically took over and did everything for me and i'm so grateful for you nancy like thank you so much because i don't know what the hell i would have done without you after that she was like, where are you staying? Who are you going with? I was like, I'm going alone. And she's like, okay, where are you staying? I was like, I have no idea. Maybe a hotel. And she's like, oh, let me, t I, I really recommend this place. They're pretty booked. So let me send it to you right away. At this time, I'm getting my lashes done. And she calls me like literally 20 minutes later. And she's like, girl, they only have one spot left. You need to call them and book your appointment. So she was like on it. Like even, you know, like. I don't know what the hell I would have done without her. I swear to God. So as soon as I got out of my um, lash appointment, I called the recovery home. And they were like, oh, we only have one room left for that week. Because that week, like, a lot of girls were coming from Chicago. Um, and I was like, please just, like, get me in. So long story short, they were able to get me in. Um, the recovery house that I stayed at is Morada Luna. They're in Guadalajara or Zapopan. I, I, I want to say there's, it's Zapopan. I stayed in Mexico for 10 days after my surgery. So in total, I stayed 11 days. El doctor Mario quería que me quedara dos semanas. Pero, obviously I'm a mom. I have work. Dije, yo no puedo quedarme dos semanas. Le estaba comentando a Nancy. Y Nancy me dice, dile que si yo te quito el drenaje, a lo mejor te deja venir en una semana. So that's what I did. I told him, hey, is it okay if I can come back in 10 days and Nancy can take out my drain? And he said, okay, because he actually really trusts Nancy and Nancy knows what the hell she's doing. Um, I trust her, honestly. She knows a lot of stuff with that. She has a lot of experience. Um, okay, that's that. So I booked my flight. I booked my recovery home and I gave my deposit for my surgery. And luego Alejandra me mandó mensaje diciendo que ya tenía mis citas para my cardiologist and my blood work and that was I was done I was I was set basically all I had to do was pack and wait for the date ahora hay que hablar de la casa de recu recuperación la casa de recuperación que donde yo me quedé se llama Morada Luna la dueña es um, Vero Verónica super nice um, En cuanto yo me contacté con ellas, um, me dijeron todo lo que estaba incluido en el paquete, porque son paquetes los que agarras. Entonces, hay un precio. También voy a poner una foto donde dice todo su, su información y sus precios. Yo agarré el cuarto de 115. Se me hace que I, fue el más, el más cheap, el más barato que tenían. Porque yo iba sola, no ocupaba un cuarto grande. Pero si vas a ir con, una, con tu mamá, con tu hermana, con tu amiga, entonces a lo mejor si vas a ocupar un cuarto más grandecito. Um, entonces yo agarré el cuarto de 115. Y mi paquete venía, el paquete que ellos tienen, vienen con el cuarto. Vienen con drenajes, vienen con comida os, y, luego te, e, y luego con ray también viene. Entonces ellos te llevan a tus citas, te traen, te llevan, te compran tu medicina, te dan de comer. Son tres comidas al día, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, te drenan dos veces al día, una en la mañana y una en la noche. And you guys, this is so perfect because 
when you get out of surgery, you need to get drained. And most of the time, um, when you're out of surgery, you don't go get drained. You go because obviously you don't, you can't drive, you can't find a ride. Um, and you probably go twice a week. Here they drain you every single day, and not every single day, but and not just that, but twice a day. You wake up and go to sleep feeling so good because honestly, right after surgery, you're gonna drain so much, and that liquid, if you don't drain yourself or if you don't get drained, that's just gonna burn. It like you can't move. Trust me, you need to get drained at least once a day for the first week because you're gonna need it again it was 115 a day or well, a night and i stayed there for 10 days i ended up paying like 1100 for that honestly i think i think it was actually really worth it because you don't have to do nothing las que te cuidan son enfermeras entonces ellas saben los que están haciendo te bañan te cambian te drenan dos veces al día te dan right a tus citas Con el doctor. Um, and they're really cool. Honestly, they, they helped me so, so much. Si van con Morada Luna, recomiendo mucho a Dulce. Porque Dulce was such, so, 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 so sweet. She helped me a lot. Answered a lot of questions for me. Y también, guys, I forgot to mention, they give you ultrasound. So if you don't know, after surgery, you need to get drained. And you need ultrasounds. And then after that, you need radio frequency. So the ultrasounds are basically um, after your mas you get it every other day after surgery. It was honestly a really really good experience. I I feel like Morada Luna made my ex my surgery really um, stress free. Okay, so that's that. That's where I stayed, Morada Luna. Check them out on Instagram, Facebook. They don't really post a lot, but I'm telling you guys they're legit. Cuando yo llegué había dos muchachas de Chicago. Cuando yo estaba ahí. Yo era la tercera y el día que yo me fui llegaron otras tres, entonces ya son seis. Y yo sé que ya, habían, ya, ya se habían quedado más ahí de Chicago también, entonces no soy la única. Ok, a lo mejor sus amigas ya han ido ahí, pero 10, 10 out of 10 recommend it. Y yo conocí muchas muchachas que tenían cirugías de otros doctores también, o sea, no, no más con mi doctor y puede ser con cualquier cirugía. Y si tienen preguntas, pues, you know, nomás mándenles mensaje y ellas te van a contestar luego, luego. También a mí me contestaron luego, luego. Um, el mismo día me contestaron. Y yo mandé mi depósito con la misma aplicación Xoom. X-O-O-O-M. Um, in case you guys are wondering. I know I didn't go over the pricing with my, um, I didn't go over how much I paid for my surgery. My price will not be your price. Basically, your Tu valoración depende de lo que ocupes, um, de qué tanto ocupes y de, y de, y de lo que tú deseas tener. Um, yo recomiendo que vayan con el doctor y le pregunten y hagan su valoración porque es dif muy diferente para todas. Lo que yo pagué, tú no vas a pagar. Lo que tu amiga pagó, tú no vas a pagar. O sea, es, es muy diferente para todos. Uh, long story short, when I got my consultation with him, Dr. Mario gave me the wrong price. He actually quoted me less than what he usually quotes people. Um, and when they found out that they quoted me wrong, they told me like, look, this is, this is what happened. These are not my prices. Um, he made a mistake and charged me less than what he was supposed to. But because Dr. Mario was super, super nice and super honest, he actually honored the price that he gave me. So I am really grateful for him because he honestly did not have to. Honestly, I still would have probably done it with him because he's amazing. But I am really grateful for him because any the, uh, any other doctor would be like, look, I gave you the wrong price. These are not my prices. You either want your surgery or not. You know, and he didn't. He was really, really cool about it. So I actually got really, really lucky, guys. Hey guys, I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a short video of all the things that I took to Mexico. I only took one bag and I made sure I didn't take clothes. I took more PJs because that's what Nancy advised me to do. Honestly, I'm so glad I listened to her because literally you will drain so much and you're gonna drain out of your faja. You're gonna um, dirty your clothes and just stay comfortable clothes. Honestly, yo llevé batas. Um, y todo esto fue lo que yo me llevé. Okay, so here's a BBL pillow. I got it from Amazon. 
it did come with the um support for the back so you're supposed to put this in like at the back of the seat i got this mostly for my um for my car so whenever i drive i do want to have that um extra support so it came in that bag and this is the pillow i um it's really comfy obviously i did try um, to sit on it and i mean i don't know how it's supposed to feel you know but so far so good um i got this bag from amazon as well this was actually just eight dollars um i can't remember how much this was this was about eighty dollars i believe this was eight dollars the reason why i got it is because i only have suitcases no tengo maletas o chiquitas and i'm doing like a carry-on i'm not like checking in a bag so that's why i decided to go ahead and buy something big enough where everything's gonna fit so first thing i got let me take this out because i feel like you know it's like just in the picture okay so this is the protein shake that my masseuse recommended to me she said i'm supposed to be taking this after surgery and it's um it's a it's protein and it's supposed to make the fat stay for my bbl so i know you are supposed to lose like about 40 percent of your fat so this is gonna help to maintain that fat so we're gonna start taking this the day after surgery then we have the compression socks these are highly recommended you are supposed to have compression socks after surgery these i got from amazon i believe they were uh, less than 20 bucks i know that for sure i am and this is so funny um this is the how do you call this you guys know what this is the peeing tube um i heard that this is really helpful after surgery some girls get it some girls don't it's really up to you um i just got everything that might help i want to make this surgery as smooth as possible because i know it's going to be a, you know a long journey so whatever helps i got then we got so the next thing is the abdominal support board this honestly i cannot remember the price and then we got the foam boards these are for um after lipo they're really recommended you're supposed to use this under your faja so both of these you're supposed to be using underneath your faja um the creams well actually i'll leave that for um i'll leave that at the end i am taking some tampons i you guys know i go organic organic is the way to go so um if you guys don't know all the things that your tampon contains and how harmful it is to your body you guys should definitely definitely look into it um but yeah i'm not taking the whole box i'm only taking a few just because I just want to be prepared. I don't know if I'm going to get my period out there or whatever. But, you know. My masseuse told me that the ropes were going to be my best friends. So, I actually got two. Two ropes. I'm, I'm guessing it's because it's easy access, you know, to your stomach. And since I am getting tummy tuck. Um, we want to make, make it as easy as possible. And then right here I have two of my batas. Um, I had this one already and she recommended me to go to Goodwill Goodwill and get any type of um, easy access PJs. Um, so they look like grandma PJs. Actually, they are grandma PJs. But the reason why I got it, it's because it has buttons. So it's going to go down. Let me open it for you guys. So this is why I got it because it's easy access to um my faja i don't have to like put my hands up and i don't have to i'm not gonna be like tight you know and that's that's the goal and i got another one over here this one doesn't have buttons but it is really thin and bio oil this is really recommended um everybody recommended this to me and it's for scars so a lot of mommies get it after c-sections so I got the one, um, the, the mini one just because I want to try it out. Um, I'm not sure what's going to work with my body or my skin. So I got the mini, um, the two ounces one. That way I can also travel with it. 
but I actually don't even think I'm gonna be able to take it just because you're not supposed to put anything on your scar um, until like after the four weeks I believe or second week the cocoa butter so I um, this was these two were rec recommended to me so if you use these both of these together I heard like your scar will um, heal really nicely with these two and cocoa butter alone I mean you know it's pretty good and then I got my silicone scar sheets. Um, these people wear after C-sections as well. They're good for scars. I got these from Amazon. And they look like this. So I'm excited to try these. Because I heard really good things about it. Now, I have... All of that is for my scar. I also got this one. The Skin Medica scar gel remover it doesn't even say scar gel remover it says <laughs> scar recovery gel oh my god i don't know what the hell i read this was 42 dollars, and it's only this is only <laughs> 0 0.5 ounces this is tiny and this was 42 bucks the bigger one that was like this was 102 obviously i got the small one because i don't know what's gonna work like i have four things for my scar and one of them better fucking work <laughs> then i have my antibacterial soap so i'm taking one to mexico and i'm leaving one here mm. i have my arnica gel this this is for um bruising pain relief um swelling and stuff like that so I, I had already i already had it so i didn't buy a new one this is my um what's it called what is it called oh my god i forgot the name of so it's a little pouch for my my, my drenajes so it's a little pouch for my drenajes drainos whatever you want to call them so i am i am gonna have that because i'm gonna get a tummy tuck and lipo so they're really cool because i can put them in here and that way i'm not so embarrassed to be carrying walking around with like a you know little drainage hanging on me so yeah this is pretty cool got this from amazon as well and that's it guys so anything i am missing is my Arnica tea and I'm gonna go run to the um, Mexican store tomorrow and purchase it and that will complete my whole um, packaging. In este video, yo enseñé una, um, una pomada que se llama Mary Something Skin Gel. Esa la recomiendo al 100%. Yo la compré porque yo la vi, I'm in a Facebook group and a, a girl a girl recommended it and her tummy tuck scar look amazing so i went ahead and bought it i got it from amazon i got the little one it's like this big so it's kind of pricey so that's why i got the little one because there's actually a bigger one and that was 102 dollars. and i was like what if it doesn't work so i got the little one first just to try it out and i'm actually gonna order my second one because my scar is i've only used this gel scar for two weeks and my scar is like looking amazing let me see if, if i can find it hold on but this is the one that i've been using i'll put a picture of it um next honestly like it's made my tummy tuck scar really it's it's been healing pretty nicely so i really really recommend it i am gonna update you guys with pictures um i usually post pictures on my instagram so go ahead and follow me i'm gonna leave them down here below and um eventually i'm gonna be showing my tummy tuck scar when it looks a little bit better so yeah just so follow me if you want me to keep you updated okay so the day i got there i right away i got there at 4 a.m went to the recovery home took a little nap i had my appointment for my blood work at 8 a.m and then my cardiologist 
appointment at 11 or 12. And then I went back to the recovery home, chilled. And the next day, November 25th, was the day of my appointment. I woke up nervous as hell. That's, that's when it actually hit. So fast forward to the day of the surgery. I got there, put the IV on me. And the doctor came. He marked me up. This was actually when I first met the doctor because um you don't you don't you don't meet the doctor until the day of the surgery which is a little bit scary but honestly i feel like if i already knew him i do follow him on social media so i'm always seeing him and i'm telling you it's just by talking to him like i just feel comfortable so i felt like i already knew him so when i met him it wasn't awkward or nothing like that he came right away and he marked me up everything that i wanted um he marked my abs. He gave me J plasma. So when he started to mark me up, me preguntó si quería lip, um, lipo en mi en mi chin. Y yo le dije que eso no estaba incluido. Y me dijo que estaba bien. Y entonces me hizo lipo en mi en mi double chin. Finally, they came for me, and it wasn't until they took me to the quirófano when I was like, my heart was like beating super super fast, and I was like, fuck. My, honestly, my biggest fear is the anesthesia. It, my biggest fear is like not waking up. So when I was there, they were putting me into the bed and Dr. Mario was there, the um, anesthesiologist or, you know, the guy who puts the anesthesia on you was there. That is the last thing I remember. Then I wake up and I'm in back in my room. I'm all bandaged up my stomach feels sore and i can't remember really a lot of things that was my first night there i didn't feel any pain i do want to say that it was just soreness i feel like my, the anesthesia was still kicking in so i didn't feel nothing um the next day a nurse showers you before you go home um oh because my package with the doctor one night of the um one night one night stay at the hospital is included with your surgery so you do stay at the hospital for one day so when the nurse came in she gave me the shower and Beto came in and then um alejandra came in as well and then she told me um the aftercare which i will post Estas son tus recetas. Estas son las indicaciones. Es no fumar alcohol, no esfuerzos. No fumar, no alcohol, no esfuerzos. Mantener la faja y el brasier puesto, bueno, en este caso el brasier no, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero la faja sí, una vez que ya te la ponga Vero, iniciar la terapia el cuarto día, son mínimo 10 terapias, te van a dar dos veces por día, okay. para que te vayas bien, bien drenadita y sin líquido, evitar el calor excesivo de sol, no salir al sol, baño diario con jabón neutro, uh -huh. el Aquacep eh, es un spray, que te vas a echar, bueno, ellos ya te van a explicar en la casa de recuperación, es más sencillo porque estás ahí. Después de bañarte te pones ese, eh, árnica en tabletas tres veces al día. La proteína, es bien importante la proteína, ¿por qué? Porque tu cuerpo sufre una descompensación. Uh -huh. Y con esa proteína, bueno, el cuerpo necesita grasa todos los días, pero ya no tienes grasa. Entonces, ¿dónde la va a agarrar? De uh -huh. las pompas. Va a ser okay. grasa y es de ahí cuando se absorbe. Oh, okay. Entonces, la, la proteína va a ayudarle a que Te no se grano, absorba, no sí, a que no se reabsorba la grasa. Uh -huh. Y de que no se reabsorba tanto, pues que sea el 30 y no se vayan todas las pompas. Entonces, son dos veces al día, en la mañana y en la tarde. Tú sabrás si te lo haces en un licuado, entre comida. El medicamento te lo recomiendo que te lo tomes cuando estés comiendo entre comida, porque si te lo tomas así, te barre el estómago. Después les duele el estómago de tanta ¿Y la proteína? Sí, la okay. proteína y el medicamento. Ok. Y... No retirar la cinta, la cinta no la vayas a retirar, si se cae, bueno, pides ayuda a Vero, pero no hay que retirarla por sí sola. Y Ay, la alimentación. me la van a cambiar, ¿verdad? Sí, no, no creo que te la cambien, porque esa nada más es como los primeros días que necesitamos que la piel cierre. Uh -huh. Ya cuando te vayamos a dar de alta es que te la quitamos y también se te quitan las grapas y okay. ya te vas sin nada. Pero sí, sí necesitamos que ahorita la tengas. Okay. Se puede mojar, no pasa nada, en dado caso de que se cayera... Yo hablo con Vero a ver si ella tiene esa misma cinta o yo le mando un pedacito para okay. volverte a poner. Y la alimentación, no hay que hacer dieta. Sé que ahorita por la anestesia no tienen mucha hambre, no uh -huh. se les antojan muchas cosas, 
pero sí es importante comer, la alimentación es la que nos mantiene fuertes, después dicen, es que no tengo ganas de nada, estoy como abajo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Es por lo mismo, porque no están comiendo y el cuerpo sí. necesita otra vez agarrar como su ritmo. Entonces, ahorita hay que comer de todo. Sí, tres semanas tienes libre, puedes comerte okay. hasta un pastel. Unos tacos, unas tortas. Sí, después de esas tres semanas no es necesario que hagas dieta, pero sí hay que empezar a cuidarnos, ¿no? No vamos a comernos uh -huh. un pastel diario. ¿A cuándo recomiendan ir al gym? Después de los dos meses y medio, puedes okay. empezar como un poco con cardio y aparatos y eso como hasta los tres, cuatro meses. ¿Cardio también no va a afectar la, la grasa de la pompa? No, 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 no afecta, porque ya se reabsorbió. Es que en este mes es como la prueba de que se okay. reabsorbe y la grasa se acomoda, uh -huh. entonces no, no, okay. no, no pasa nada. Porque ahorita cuando la herida está entreabierta y no ha cerrado uh -huh. bien, no hay que poner absolutamente uh -huh. nada. La cicatriz empieza a tratar una vez que la herida ya cerró por completo, porque okay. si no puede entrar algo que, que el right. cuerpo no, no lo quiera y de ahí hay problemas. Una. So, you guys heard the aftercare. Those are really, really important. If you didn't hear the aftercare, I would recommend you to go back and listen to them because this is, because that's coming from her and not from me. After that, Beto came for me, took me to the recovery home, and I'm going to show you guys the clips of the recovery home. I honestly did not record a lot because my experience was really, really great. Thank God I did not feel pain. Um, it was a lot of soreness and the liquid that's in your back was the only thing that was bothering me. It would burn me, but not once did I cry, which I'm so proud of myself. But honestly, it was my recovery was really, really good to me and I'm super grateful for that. If I had to do it, all over again i would um honestly it might be like a mindset type of thing so if you're going to surgery you know just mentally prepare yourself i would i would just suggest that and follow your doctor's indications that's really really important i followed every step that he told me and my recovery was really really fast and that's what i would rec um, advise you is follow your doctor's indications It's really scary, I know it is, but I promise you it's so worth it. And if you go with a doctor that you trust, I don't think there's nothing you should be worrying about. One of my biggest things is that my doctors have to be board certified. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I have to go. Um, I'm gonna, I do want to show you guys how I look as in six, um, six weeks today, six or five. This is how I look. I'm gonna stand up and show you guys. Like, he, he really did give me that waist, and I'm super happy with it. I am still swollen from my gut. You will be swollen for a while. This is the back. And right now, I don't have my faja on, so this is... Okay, guys, I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to message me on Instagram. Here is my information and good luck with your surgeries.
Hey guys, it is Malaze here at Morada Luna. I am currently packing. Um, I just got my last ultrasound, and then I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get drained for the last time here, and I'm gonna shower, and then I have dinner with my surgery sisters. I'm gonna miss them so much, and then at three I have my appointment with my doctor. Um, he's just gonna check everything. Hopefully he takes my drain out because I'm not draining that much anymore. I'll show you guys in a bit. And I have to catch my flight. Super excited to go home. I miss my son so much. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. It is a busy. Uh, it is a busy day today. Especially the ones in my uh, yeah, Especially the ones in my lap. My last meal here. What is it? There? My friend. Surgery sister. Surgery sister. I won't. We should stay in contact with girls. Yeah,